Hello and welcome to another Ancient Minecraft video. Now last time out we had a look at Stonehenge and I've locked down phase one as a map which I should put up for download at some point. Um, now what I want to look at today, especially in light um, of the news that's been out this week, is a site called Durrington Walls that's a couple of miles from Stonehenge and they think it's where the people who built Stonehenge actually lived in a huge village. Now the trouble is that it is an incredibly complicated and large site. I mean, I had a really big headache making Stonehenge, and that was about 100 and something metres across in a huge but roughly circular monument. Um, Darlington Walls is over 500 metres across. The ditches are massive. They go down 6 or 7 metres, and they're 18 metres wide at the top. The banks are equally large, some of them are 30 blocks wide. And it's a site about which... Unfortunately, not much is known. They know that there were houses there before there were um, the big stone, the big earthen banks and ditches. So I'm going to put some houses in first of all. The recent discovery, which is what I've been playing about with before I started recording, is that there was also now a row of 90 standing stones that kind of curved out and around um, Darrington Walls before they built the banks. And then they went along and knocked them all over. About 30 or 40 of them have been found lying flat. And then they built the banks on top of them. So I've been playing around with that as well. But it occurred to me that if they built the banks on top of the standing stones. And they built the banks on top of the houses. Which they did. Then the first thing that must have been there is houses. And looking around on the internet and reading bits and pieces. It looks like the houses were there first. And they spread into a field to the south and to the north. And along the river bank. And all around so i'm going to have a go at building some houses i've played around with some villagers as well i've spawned a couple there was a priest here earlier but he's gone i've also got one named ertzi after ertzi the ice man so um now being in creative mode i'm sat here with a whole load of lapis lazuli blocks the reason for this is that they stand out really well and flying as well and i looked at lots of other people's build videos on youtube to kind of get some ideas for Stonehenge and one of the things I realised is that when I made Stonehenge my counting was out. Only two or three blocks in some cases but you know when you're going out 50 blocks and trying to do a perfect circle it really messed things up and what I found is the easiest way to count is to actually put blocks down and lapis is not natural it's bright blue it shows up as you can see on the map it looks like somebody's been drawing with lines so that's perfect and what I'm trying to do now is find a good start point for where um, where Darrington Wall should start. Because once I can get it fixed, you can also see over there, there, there there's my original idea for Darrington Walls. And there's my Darrington Walls too. Now if I fly up a bit actually, we can show you something else. I can't remember if I've shown you this before. But when I did it in World Painter, oh there's the priest, oh yeah. I wrote on the landscape as to where roughly where things were going to be. And you can see there's more of my measuring there. And what World Painter has an option to do is turn it into white wool blocks. So at some point, because it will probably be a bit dull. Oh, and there goes the graphics card. It did not like that. In your own time, please. As it turns your writing into white wool on the landscape. And these are all just single blocks of white wool. And it's written Darrington Walls, and you can see I've had a go at measuring. So what I tend to do is just put down a block while I'm counting. If I'm back to my original one, this is I'm going to come down a bit because this is just stressing out the graphics way too much. Excuse me, I have got a bit of a cold today as well, so it's not ideal. So every 10 blocks, I just put one up so that I can count. There's my experimenting with the stone row as well. There would have been 90 of these, and they were about 4 or 5 metres tall, so... It would have made a really big impact on the um, landscape. But the first thing I want to do, this is the River Avon, by the way, um, curling away. We're going south. Now, I think where the very first feature I want to put in is called an avenue. It's actually one of the first um, proper roads in Europe. It was actually made with flint and stone, but I need to find out where to start it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you see when I get to 10, I can just do that. Now I'm having a quick look at the map. I think about where this bend in the river is, is a good place to start. Eight, 
Okay, so if I start about here, and that's good because that's about where the ridge starts as well, which is where they would have put it. Oh, do excuse me. Right, so now I've drawn a lot of stuff out on squared paper to try and help me. It went about 100 meters inland, the avenue. So here's 100 meters in. We were 20 down that way, and it went about 40. So now I've got a grid laid out. I can go one. Well, actually, we can look over here. Uh, so you need to go 20 this way, and here's my other grid. You see, you see, I keep changing my mind and keep moving stuff around. We're still quite a long way away from my second waypoint for Darlington Walls. But now it's really easy to go 10, 20. So really we just need to get perfectly square on this. back to the end of this row now I'm going diagonally and I've messed it up oh, why do I do this right I'm going to pause you in a minute while I just sort this out again you see if you want to go completely square you just actually let's count these out to 20 and then we'll be done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then this will be where the avenue ends which is where the walls and the ditch and bank of Durrington start so I'm talking and I can't talk and count one two three four five six seven eight nine right so that from there down to the river should be where our avenue goes and it should be roughly two across and one down so I'm going to move this stone row as well so I'm going to pause you now and I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up maybe get rid of some of these lines I've drawn if you look now you can see I've drawn lines all over the map so ever so roughly we'll be going from the end of that left hand L shape down to the end of that right hand L shape if that makes any sense and I'll try and do an avenue between those two and I'll come back in a minute when I tidy it up. Right, I've done the initial mark out, and as you can see, I've come out, considering I was just buffing it out, a one, two, three, four, four, five blocks out, which is pretty good. If we look on the map, you can see now that we're actually starting to get the avenue, which actually slopes really nicely in. What I'm going to do now is try and figure out where the northern edge of the avenue goes, rough it in a bit, and delete a lot of. Uh, lapis lazuli blocks and then I will come back to you and we will see what we've got okay then thank you hello and welcome back I'm just going to go to voxel map here and now you can see that I've got the edges actually that's a massive avenue I'm just looking at my map and no it really is about 30 meters wide and about 100 meters long so what I really need to do now, which will probably take me the most of the rest of um, the time I've got, which I won't show you, is I need to get rid of all my drawing lines and I need to fill in the entire inside of it with, um, oh my brain, cobblestone, which involves cutting out the earth and putting cobblestone in. So I think what I'll do is I will have a bit of a play up here in the north in this big kind of open area up here I'll build a few sample houses and then I can go mad with copy and paste and I probably won't get up to hundreds of houses because here's a nice big flat area obviously they wouldn't have had um, sorry I'm doing two things at once now they let's look up planks actually that's a good start isn't it and then hay bales they, all the walls would not have been um, a thousand a thousand all the blocks wouldn't have been a meter thick that's what I'm trying to say right we we'll have three different sorts of planks oh dirt and grass would actually be good because you quite often get turf roofs um, what I will do as well is I'll put some doors in because if I then start populating it with villagers we might be able to see it actually working a bit like a a village um, don't need an iron door just a wooden door way too used to playing on the Xbox where you get different types of doors 
Um, we need some hay as well, so we can do. I know we don't have that yet. I'm getting a list in my head of blocks to have, and I think thatch and wattle and daub would be two of the ones I really want to have. So I'm just going to build, the houses apparently were round and five meters in diameter, which of course is a problem because we're in Minecraft and nothing in Minecraft is round. So if we just do a one, two, three, diagonal one, two, three, diagonal one, two, three, diagonal one, two, fell off, three, the simplest Minecraft circle in the world ever. But that's, well, it's five meters entrance, isn't it? Um, that's looking, if I look southeast, oh dear me, right. If I look southeast, about here is where they would have put the door. Except, of course, you can't do doors on a diagonal. So if we stick a door in here, they liked for reasons that are probably now lost in the mists of time, they liked having um, doors in the southeast. Maybe just because it was just nice in the morning when the sun came in and it woke you up, I don't know. I expect they were quite dark inside. Nobody knows if they had windows or not, if they just had a campfire. Oh, that's another thing I could do. I could go and look for campfire mods as well, couldn't I? Oh, what am I like? Right, door. That is really... I'm not going to hang a doors today, am I? Right. Why is that not just behaving like a door? No, I want you kind of... You know what? I'm going to put oak wood in there. I've been playing on the Xbox too much just for fun and not for sorting this out. Right, there's a house with a door. Let's do a very simple hay bale roof. Ah, my mum. Actually, they often had kind of overhanging to stop overhanging eaves to stop the rain coming in. So we could actually, we could actually, if I could um, play Minecraft at all. Ah, oh dear me, right. We could actually have the roof kind of coming out a bit like that, and then we could do it up like a pyramid. Why are you doing it like that now? Right, let's jump up onto these walls and see if we can get a bit more. Now, I think our lovely thatch roof is going to be all higgledy piggledy. Minecraft making its own mind up about where the thatch goes, as always. So yeah, I'm just going to build a whole selection of houses. Like this, with kind of hopefully overhanging roofs. I need to build myself a thatch block, I think. I think that would make life an awful lot easier. Some of them will have curved roofs, some will be rectangular, some will be round. Which is going to be hugely high actually, isn't it? Uh, put a holder block in there. And then we just kind of fill it in. Maybe we'll leave a chimney hole in the middle, that'd be nice. See, some days I'm in the mood for like doing a house with stairs for a roof and getting them all lined up and today I just, although I suppose I'm going to be copying, oh actually no look that is starting to look a bit nice isn't it? But yeah I really need to get my head around doing a tax block for my mod as well. Actually I know I just kind of chuck that together without really thinking about what I'm doing. But you know as as Neolithic houses go, it's got, um, oh, yeah, of course, I'm in creative, so I can't just open and close doors, can I? Just destroy them. Oh, there we go. Right, right click. Hole for smoke, we can put a campfire in. I suppose, actually, we should, you know, do the Minecrafty thing. Um, 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 what don't I need? Chalk for the minute, I'm not doing ditches and banks. So there we go, and I will, like I say, I'll copy and paste that. I'll do like probably four or five designs. And I'll make sure they all have doors to keep the villagers all happy. 
and I'll tidy up those stone rows and we'll have hundreds of houses and where's my map? The houses actually went all the way from up here. Oh god, it's gone laggy now as well. Um, the houses went from all the way up here all the way down to the river and they probably went like further up and around the corner of the river as well. So I'll pop in a few boats and a little dock and things like that, all kind of stuff they would have had. And some campfires and some villagers. Yep, here's the river. And I'll get rid of all my drawings all over the landscape. Um, when we come back, you should see a small town with a big paved road leading up to it, which will be quite odd, but um, yes. Okay then, well thank you for watching, and I'll come back soon when I've built a lot more of Darrington Walls, and then when I've built it, I'll hide it all underneath some massive earth banks. Thank you, oh, as always, like, subscribe, tell your friends, post it, Facebook, you name it, and post up any questions, anything you want to see in future videos. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you and goodbye.